Unless you're my man's jump steady who lost to a Bowser once. But hey, man, I don't want to put my boy on blast. Let's get into this oh, match. Oh, Ben Gold. Ben Gold. Ben Gold's Palu. Interesting. Versus Arc Blade. He did stay over from the Smash Thunder 3, Clash of the Pandas. Yep. yep. I like that. I like that decision. You know, if you're going to do take a full day of flights, you might as well make it worth your while. Exactly. Up be out of shield looking really good right now for uh Oh, no, we had it we had it the other way around. I, I don't know what I should like I don't know what I thought. Of course Ben Gold is playing the heavy character. Uh, of course he is going to be the Bowser Arc played the Palutena. Good parry. Kind of parrying kind of parrying like Palutena's moves is like one of the things you want to do against her, especially if you have that timing down right cuz it will like I said parrying your opponent that early shield on. Shield pressure. Shield pressure on Bowser neutral B is so scary. It does yeah. so much damage. It has so no quickly. it has no business doing that much damage. Okay, here we go. Good juggle. Very good juggle. And he's continuing it. Now that he was so scared right there. You saw that. He just he just completely froze up. There are multiple opportunities to punish. But yeah, he, uh, he gets him he gets him in a good situation again. Very nice. Reads him well. Very well read. Nice, we are starting to use Arc Blade here, use a little bit of those nares yep. and back airs. Back to an edge guard situation here for Arc Blade. Back air does have that intangibility on the shield, so you you're saw able him to go, go for through. the down air, but uh, Bowser hip uh, Bowser up hitbox so good. Another nair. Great use of just holding shield. He had nowhere else to go, right? Don't even risk it. Oh, and he gets the two frame with the Bowser bomb. Not even finishing him off, but he reads the recovery. That's going to be a fourth throw. You know, I think if he got the side B there instead of the uh, instead of the vanilla grab, he would have ended the stock. But uh, he, he still got the damage, you know. It's uh, yeah, and he is still a complete stock upward. He had the damage and stage control at the time too. Really good opportunity all, all around. But yeah, right. Side B would have definitely been the finisher. Patient neutral. I'm I'm a big fan. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Well, he knows right. Palutena's options to commit here. It's gonna most likely be Nair. So if you can push right. that and space himself away from it. Right. And you saw that dash attack from Ben Gold too. Oh, what an empty hop and what a mix up there. Nice catch. Beautiful, beautiful play. Like you said, right? The, it's the patient neutral here that's kind of punishing but Palutena. The way you saw that happen was that he went for that dash attack just before, just before he got the side B. He went for the dash attack, and that was already a mix-up in itself because he was baiting the grab because he knew that's how the stock would end. Mm -hmm. But he went for the dash attack. So then, when he went for the grab again afterward, he was thinking about shielding, and that's how he got it. But of course, Arc Blade evening up the st uh, or evening up nothing actually. But getting another stock and uh, getting something started right now. Nice. Moves in for the edge guard here, gets the up B. He still has Arc Blade a little bit a lot of disadvantage here. At this point, Arc Blade's trying to be careful how, oh, he, very how nice. he lands. Gets the teleport cancel, but he's just right back where he started. Yeah, right after the back air too. And I feel like that's what Arcblade's kind of been using is those back airs, right? You, like I said, you have the intangibility. I and love able to the challenge patience. Bowser a little bit here. I love the patience by Ben Gold for that recovery. Nice. Reverse up tilt. tilt. Yep. Very nice. Very clean play. Come on, man. Arcblade's slipping, going for too many empty hops with no aerials, no mix ups. That far from your opponent, you have to be understand. You usually go for those empty hops when you have a little bit more advantage. Are those tags the right, on the right sides? No. No, they are not. <laughs> I've just received confirmation. There we go. It's, uh, ben Gold showing him the 4 one one dude. Yeah. Bowser, not that bad against Palutena, if right. you play it right. Though. Same matchup, game two, Battlefield. I like this pick for actually both these characters, to be perfectly honest. The platforms will assist Bowser in getting down, but can also assist Palu in juggling. Nice, nice. punish. He went for that get-up attack, and honestly, it's understandable, but at this point, if your opponent's not charging a move, or if he's that close to you holding shield, it should really dictate to you, okay, I should not be going for get-up attack. I might right. be trying to go for a different opportunity here to kind of come back on the stage. You can really see the fear right now from Arc Blade, yeah. because obviously he is fighting Bowser, and he's already at 82%. If he gets the hit by the wrong move, it's already over. Yeah. And of course, Ben Gold is just ripping him right now. It's... 
all the hits he's been getting oh. so quickly, just like that F tilt, are really setting in to Arc Blade's head right now. It's hard to come back from something like that. Yeah, he can't teleport on the stage. Even if he teleport cancels, he still got himself in disadvantage last game. Tries to teleport on the ledge here, and even then, Bengal will use that forward tilt at the right time to punish him. Exactly. But one thing I do feel Arc Blade understands here, like I mentioned in game one here, going for those intangibility options. Back air has intangibility, dash duck has intangibility. So if you're using that against Bowser, who, he, who he tough guys a lot of things, Palutena kind of like wins in that state. There we go, edge guard situation. Oh, he yeah. reads, yeah, he reads the high recovery. The uh, timing on the side B was not quite there. Oh no, and he, the, he got gimped by fear, dude. Yeah, that's all it was. Got gimped by fear. Edge guard. Yep. Yep. Very Good nice. Use. Down tilt gets Palutena the forward frame. Air. Ooh, that was very scary for Arc Blade. Oh, he he's just looking right now. He's looking for it. Edge guard situation yet again. What do we see? Very nice. Can we get a stock though? Uh, no, we cannot. As Ben Gold gets the uh, <laughs> the Koopa Claw and uh, reverses the situation. Now him in an edge guard situation against Arcblade. Oh, nice! Using jab one here to try to get the grab. Nice. Reverse one more up reverse tilt. up tilt. Yeah, that's the P. That's the PTSD for Arcblade right now. He saw the. <laughs> uh, that's how he got uh, got killed the last stock, the last match. Real PTSD here is honestly those parries that Bengal has been able to get against Arcblade. Is that right, a stock? Finally, no, nope. not it. Tough thing about Bowser, man, one of the heaviest characters in the game. So it's just really hard for Arcblade right now. He can't even if he can't even take the first stock off. Then how does he feel? I guess he feels pretty good because he, he did take <laughs> the first stock off. I mean, finally, right? He gets a little bit of a side relief, but it's a little bit too late. Yep. Like I mentioned earlier, hopping. Empty hopping right there in your opponent's neutral with no opportunity of conditioning, no opportunity of getting an advantage. That'll get you punished. Yep. Ben Gold with a very bold up smash. Yep. And he kind of calls him out. Bowser just get that low profile where he's actually able to avoid that. Shout out to Windows. Yeah. Um, the, the, the good operating system, as one may ooh, say. This is a very, this is going to be a very.